hey guys okay so i decided i'd do a little video to show um the opening up of a dvr this is a dvr box and apparently my drive just went unfortunately so i'm going to try to open up this box and show you guys what it looks like what's inside and how to well basically to replace the hard disk drive So there's basically um, four screws on the left hand, the right hand, um, two on each side, and those are the screws that if you want to take out, I'm using a precision kit, which I, I'm sure is not going to be the easiest thing to use because it's not strong. In, I mean, not, it's not that it's not strong enough, but that um, it's going to be really hard to grip. So if you do have a longer screwdriver with a fatter um, end, that would help to be able to open the screws better. But um, this seems to be working all right so we just got the second screw out and now i'm going to the right hand side which may be the left hand side for you guys because the video is inverted um, so it's always as they say righty tighty lefty loosey so i'm gonna try to do this it's gonna be a little bit hard Nice, so we got the, got one loose there, and hopefully I'm still in the picture there, and we're going to get, this one will be the tightest, and yeah, we did, nice, lovely, so, now that we have it open, as you can see, um, this one comes with few different things it's going to be a little bit out of focus sorry about that it's just that it's the camera and so forth um but yeah so basically bmc all over here this one is an output this is an input and audio output as well here so this is the video out and of course it has a network port and usb which is nice hdmi as well too um i wouldn't recommend this brand i didn't i even though it was prob it was all right for the time being it really isn't with it now um, in terms of the quality so i'm not gonna go ahead and recommend this brand trying to just figure out it's supposed to be a simple thing oh you see there's another there's another screw there which we need to take out hopefully just check it to make sure there's no screws at the bottom there isn't so it should be easy to come out come on come on it's really really tight i mean i'm using the huh. all right So the reason for all this trouble is because they have grips on the side. Yeah, wow, surprisingly very, very simple board. Amazingly simple at this point in time, I would say. Um, and what of, what of course we're looking at is of course the drive here. see that there's actually a spot for two drives but uh, we really just want one drive this drive is a one terabyte that I had put in in 2013 so that it gave us at least four years when you think about it that's not much time huh? but uh, what shall you do So I have two other, other older drives which I'm going to try to put in and hopefully they will work. And in order to get to the drive, we have to spin it over and take these screw out. And while doing that, hopefully the entire 
um, hopefully the entire drive doesn't fall over but that's kind of the what's going to happen essentially so there we go one I have two old drives which I'm gonna to try to put in. I'm not too sure if they're gonna last, but well, we could try it and see. It'd be interesting to see what a solid state drive would be able to accomplish in this case, but um, funny thing is it's not even any noise or anything like that it's really nothing to surprise me in very clean condition considering I didn't open this until I first got it it's really interesting so we'll keep that drive for the while there's a panel on the side there's a battery which seems fine so pretty much it's just to add a drive in and power it up and see if it works so that's it guys um so we just put back in a drive is basically just a sata piece sata drive that's going to go back in here and that will pretty much be everything <laughs> cool stuff right all right guys see you guys again soon